Welcome, everyone, to our channel. Today, we're going to take a look at an anime called Attack on Titan. If you're ready, let's get started. Marley and the Mideast Alliance are locked in a brutal four-year war, with Marley fighting to end the conflict. Amidst the chaos, a group of warrior candidates on the front lines are vying to become the next armored titan. Although the war's end brings relief, both the Eldian warriors and Marley's higher-ups understand that reclaiming the founding titan is essential for their future. A glimpse into Reiner's difficult past sheds light on his desire to become a Marleyan warrior and uphold his family's honor. The unexpected arrival of the influential Tiber family rattles the Marleyan military, while Falco takes risks by smuggling letters for a friend and aiding the reunion of two old comrades. Aaron confronts Reiner, and Willie Tiber delivers a speech to the world, attempting to address the ongoing hatred towards Eldians and break the cycle of animosity. In the midst of this, the attack titan wreaks havoc, causing casualties and destruction. Simultaneously, the Warhammer Titan emerges to confront Eren. As the battle between Eren and the warriors intensifies, another faction enters the fray and drastically shifts the tide of the conflict. Exhausted, the armored titan falls, provoking Gabi's fury, leading her to take up arms and embark on a personal mission. In parody, the aftermath of the raid on Liberio unfolds, prompting Armin to reminisce about meeting the volunteer soldiers who reshaped their world. Two years ago, an unexpected visitor arrived in parody, surprised to encounter someone from their own homeland. Their assistance becomes crucial in a three-part plan to safeguard parody. Gabby and Falco manage to escape from prison, but find themselves directionless until they receive help from the very people they despise. Meanwhile, Flock's perspective undergoes a shift, and the military corps faces new challenges. In the midst of confusion, Aaron sets his plans for for parody into motion. Zeke's intentions become known, and as the Jaegerists gain control, the true identities of the two warrior fugitives are exposed. Eren engages in a tense confrontation with Armin and Mikasa, while Levi battles Zeke. A glimpse into Zeke's past reveals his struggles to become a warrior and his desire to end the suffering of all Eldians. Stemming from a chance friendship in his youth, with the Jaegerists in charge, Zeke's master plan is unveiled, but not before Eren seeks help to root out any infiltrators among them. As the Marleyan Air Force invades Parody, Aaron continues his battle against Porco Galliard, joined by Reiner in his armored titan form. The Beast Titan also enters the fray, with General Magath determined to bring him down. Amidst the city engulfed in flames, Colt and Gabby race to rescue the captive Falco from the Jaegerists. Colt pleads with Zeke not to transform Falco into a titan using his scream. Meanwhile, soldiers and titans clash, and Aaron struggles to make contact with his brother. Zeke takes Aaron on a journey through Grisha's memories, revealing how he was manipulated. However, Zeke stumbles upon a revelation about Eren that he never anticipated. Eren and Zeke clash over their conflicting ideologies and shattered emotions, while Emer, the founder of the Titans, unveils her tragic past and deepest secrets hidden within the walls. With the walls of parody destroyed and Shigenshina overrun by Titans, the scouts find themselves battling their former comrades. Amidst the chaos, Gabby remains determined to find and rescue Falco at any cost. With the rumbling initiated and all hardened structures undone, Annie regains her freedom. As the Jaegerists take control of the island, Connie rushes to Regako, intending to feed Falco to his titan mother. In Regako, Connie devises a plan to deceive Falco into being consumed by his mother. Elsewhere, Jean, the hero of the Eldian Empire, prepares to execute Yelena and Unyankapon for their crimes against humanity. In a forest, Marleyan stragglers and island fugitives set aside their hatred and attempt to engage in conversation without violence. The Ajimabito's flying boat is heavily guarded by Jaegerists, making it challenging for the scouts to avoid bloodshed. To ensure a safe takeoff, the crew needs half a day for maintenance. However, with Jaegerist reinforcements on the way, they are forced to change their plans. Aaron, despite reflecting on how events unfolded, remains committed to his path of destruction, leaving Mikasa wondering if things could have been different. Meanwhile, two refugee children, Ramsey and Halil, flee from the encroaching colossal titans as they descend upon the refugee crowds. A year prior, Eren contemplates his past experiences and his future actions. And here, we come to the end of our summary. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.